CDC data shows the number of children contracting COVID is at an all-time high right now. And while most do recover with little trouble, we're also seeing the virus putting more kids in the hospital. Three-year-old Evie is one of them. In tonight's To Your Health, her family shares their story in hopes others take COVID seriously. <laughs> Lily and Stephen enjoy time with their grandparents' dog, Jasmine. Jasmine is sitting. But someone is missing from this picture. I have always listened to my mom gut, and I knew something was wrong. Their sister and Jasmine's best friend, Evelyn. Oh, when she tried to sit up, she couldn't even hold her own head up. And then she laid down and she looked at me. She goes, Mommy, I want to go home. Well, we were at home. A day earlier, December 27th, celebrations for three-year-old Evie's favorite holiday, Christmas, were cut short when she tested positive for COVID. Her parents, Morgan and Michael Ijams, rushed her from their Topeka home to Children's Mercy in Kansas City, where she'd been treated for epilepsy a couple months earlier. Her lips were white. She just didn't, yeah, she looked really sick. As the week went on, Evie got worse. She was just having a really hard time breathing, and she, and she was just... Hurting. She went from oxygen to CPAP and BiPAP machines, and finally a ventilator and ECMO, a device helping get oxygenated blood to her heart and lungs. My thought was, why her? And I was just, we really thought she was going to die. Evie had brain swelling, a blood infection, and pneumonia in both lungs that ate away at her lung tissue. We both just were so scared. You know, we kept talking to her, Evie, you can do this, you're strong, you're, we're here for you. Evie's case is an extreme among children who get COVID. It is a spectrum. But it is a risk. Stormont Vale pediatric hospitalist Dr. Fuad Medlej says children with conditions like immune deficiencies, heart issues, and respiratory conditions are at higher risk. But he's also seen severe COVID illness in healthy kids, which is why he says everyone must take precautions. You can't run the gamble by saying your kid's healthy, uh, I'm just going to let him or her go whatever, do whatever without proper screening of the environment. Still have a life, enjoy your life, but make the hard choices and do what needs to be done, not what's convenient, so that virus doesn't keep piggybacking from one person to the other until it finds a susceptible host. If you don't do it for yourself, at least do it for the people that or even the, ch the children and the elderly. Morgan and Michael were cautious. Both they and Lily and Stephen are vaccinated. They wear masks, sanitize, avoid crowds. Morgan tested positive just before Christmas and isolated with mild symptoms only for Evie to follow. My husband and I want to share the story to show how serious it can be for a child. I would never want anybody to have to go through this. Evie spent nearly two weeks on the ventilator. She's still fighting infections and fevers, and half of one lung is now basically dead tissue. But the prognosis is positive. They said she could live a happy, normal life. She might get winded quicker. Evie expects to spend another three to six months in the hospital while her lungs heal. Until then, the Christmas tree remains standing, waiting for Evie to come back in the picture, back home. She's a fighter. I'm just going to say that little girl's a fighter. <laughs> She's strong. The Ijams and Dr. Medledge say keeping Evie and other kids, remember they're under five, too young to get vaccinated. So keeping them safe takes everyone. They urge people to get vaccinated and when kids or adults are sick, stay home and away from other people. There's a lot of faith in that family. Morgan started posting video updates on Facebook asking for prayers. She says the power of prayer is helping every recover. So she is so thankful for that. They have a long road ahead, though. So I have posted a link to a GoFundMe that folks have set up to help the family on WIPW.com.